Hi, this is Bradley Sowash, and I'm the author of a jazz piano method called That's Jazz. Today I'm going to be looking at a song from the Intermediate Book 2 uh, called Digging Deeper from the That's Jazz series. The song is called Get Up, Get Ready, and I'm going to start with a warm-up page and show you how you can make a somewhat difficult part a little bit easier. Here's the tune we're looking at. Now that left hand... That's a little bit tricky at first, or if this is uh, an idea that can be applied to any tune, what I suggest is that you simplify it, bring it down to its basic values. So I'm going to just play this much of it. Now it's not that this part is so hard, but maybe with the right hand and combining it all together, it becomes more difficult. And so by breaking it down to its simple level and putting the hands together, uh, it's much easier. that's all together, it's easy to put what I call the thumb notes, the top notes, back in. So that's a little bit about the warm-up. I'll play a little bit more of the song. And it goes on from there. Now, what is... Uh, really the helpful trick about this song is how you're going to improvise on it with only five notes. We're going to use the pentatonic scale for the, to improvise on this tune. It really fits. It's like a fallback scale. A fallback scale is a scale that sounds good all the way through a tune, so you don't have to worry about making it match up. The pentatonic scale is a, explained here on page 24 in the key of C. It's C, D, E, G, A. So what I suggest you do is just take those three notes, C, D, E, and make a little improvisation with it. Simple. Three notes. Anyone can do that. If you're having trouble thinking of the right rhythm, use words. I could say, uh, what did you have for lunch today? And maybe you'd say, uh, pepperoni pizza. Great, let's play that. Pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza. Okay, uh, or you could say, what do you have for lunch today? I don't know. In fact, I don't know what to play. I don't know what to play. I don't know what to play. Anything. You see, language has so many interesting rhythms in it that almost anything you say can be translated into a meter and give it a musical sound. So you can use words as a springboard for your own rhythmic ideas. After you can improvise on three notes, you try it with four notes. I got a G in there now. Feels comfortable, you put in an A. G, A, C, D, E. That's how you improvise on a lot of songs. Pentatonic scale, I always say, when in doubt, pen out. Okay, continue down your jazz journey with more videos. And take a look, if you would, at my series, That's Jazz. All right, thanks. Good luck. See ya.